In this episode of King's Quest 3, To Air is Human, Walkthrough, I show you an alternate way Widian can defeat Medusa and subsequently save her. Stay tuned. VideoGamersOasis.com Play Subscribe This episode of Video Gamers Oasis Play Theater is brought to you by Feature Points Get free gift cards Games And much more Try free apps Get rewards Go to your iOS or Android browsers And type HTTP colon forward slash forward slash F E A T U dot R E forward slash V G O. Use the app, start reaping the rewards. Mikik, welcome again to another King's Quest 3 to Air is Human walkthrough. Gamers, first of all, I'd like to apologize for the lack in videos for the past few days. It's been a long time since I made a video with King's Quest 3 and I would like to sincerely apologize but allow me to explain I have been very ill with a stomach flu. I was puking my guts out yesterday and I just recovered and I've been eating very little um, because of my a lot of acid has been removed from my stomach due to my sickness and I, have, I haven't been, I'm just sort of relaxing and recuperating today. But I am feeling better, much stronger than yesterday, I assure you. And I want to get back into saddle, ready to play some fantasy adventure games for your enjoyment. So I hope you have your buttery bowl of popcorn and your soda pop or your beer or wine or whatever beverage you like to drink. And let's continue our adventure. Now I just want to tell you something before we continue. We will continue with our adventure where we last left, left off and is in very soon. Uh, first I want to do something very unusual. Uh, <clears throat> There's a alternate way of defeating Medusa in this game. And I'll just show you what I mean. Because uh, cave door. So we're at the cave door, and see, there's a different way of. Uh, there's an alternate, even a better, a non-violent way of defeating Medusa, and I'm going to show you how to do it. Uh, this will not affect the adventure game. It won't really um, alter the story in the end. But it will alter the way you reach the the end, and it can act possibly uh, give you different points. Your eyes adjust to the dark as you. Okay, so we're entering the cave of Medusa. What now, is this place? All right, here we go. So if we look around, you peer into the glowing pit. Your head begins to spin. Uh -oh. You feel compelled to step closer to the eerie light. Shaking yourself out of it, you wisely refrain from glancing at it directly. So we're entering the scary cave where Medusa lives. Now I'm going to show you how to defeat her in a non-violent way. Here she is, Medusa. To my den. Ooh. Just a man. Just a man. Oh. I have known many called man. All wretched. All deceitful. Now. All still. Yikes. Ah, look at all those statues there. Those are all formerly men. As a man, you are not capable of honesty. Of oh, really? Truth. But I am. As a man, you exist only to break a woman's heart. Shallowness and fear are your bay. Come closer, and I will destroy you. Alright. Let's do this. Let's meet this woman. I bravely face Medusa, folks. Here we go. Here she is. If you would look <clears throat> upon me, foolish boy. Then reveal your true self. All right. Oh. Hear me in earnest, and 
respond in kind. Okay. A blind man asks you to describe the sunset. Uh, let's see. Uh, say that he's lucky, he's not missing much. Inform him that looking at the sun is bad for one's eyes, not that he'd know. Describe the rays, clouds, and colors precisely, detailing direction and movements. Speak of flame dwindling in a cooling sky, and heavenly fingers which trace the land with warm, dry pools. That's what I'll pick. A poor girl offers to sell you a rotten apple from her basket. Okay. Pay for the apple. Switch the apples with rocks. Give her money to buy riper apples for herself. Swipe it out of her hands. I'll give her money to buy riper apples for herself. A harem slave asks for help. Her master will beat her once he learns of her escape. She offers her services. Uh, help her to flee, no charge. Accept her offer. Call for her master. Tell her good luck and that you won't speak her of her. I will have to um, <clears throat> help her to flee, no charge. An old man who reeks of the world's worst dishes hmm. asks for shelter. Send him away. Recommend the furthest inn from your house. Invite him in. Offer him the stables. Uh, he's an old man. I wouldn't normally do this to a man who stunk, but if he's an old man, I'd invite him in because I feel sorry for him. After many years of correspondence with the lady, you propose. Upon meeting her in person, she is far less attractive than she described. Claim this is your 15th engagement. It's a habit. Apologize for wasting your time and admit that fault lies with yourself. Court her for a customary duration, then break it off. Remember how her words moved you and allow those feelings to return. I would pick quarter for a customer duration, then break it off. Here she is. <gasps> it's Medusa! You are not repelled by me? Nope. You are not transformed. But you are. The enchantment is broken. Ah, it's Forgive a miracle. Me. I have been too hasty in appraising you. It would seem that I possess something of the hard-heartedness I accused you of having. Considering my predecessors, I think your opinion was understandable. How can I thank you? Let's see what she can do for me. Please, there must be something I can do, or offer you perhaps. And... I, I will get the amber stone that you have there. I want that. If it would please you, I would have this unique stone. It would, for I am loath to ask. Hmm. I would have you first do a favor for me. Certainly. I have all but forgotten my own appearance. Hmm. And I should dare not enter the town again until I am made more gentle to the eye. Assured me. You would make not even the most dazzling sunrise more attractive to the senses. I thank thee for the compliment. However, I still desire a means to appraise myself. I have none. For once transformed into a gorgon, all were destroyed in my terrible rage. Bring me a looking glass, and I will gladly grant you the stone. I will do as you ask, my lady. So you put the stone back on the wall, and you look in your... Uh, inventory. Hopefully, by by this time, you have the uh, Manannan's mirror. So you grab. You attempt to wipe the mirror clean with your sleeve. You're not really successful. All right. You need to grab the mirror, Manannan's mirror, and give it to the lady. I am most grateful to you. 
You may have the stone if that is your will. Thank you, lady. Excellent. So now, keeping your hands to yourself. So grab the grab the stone now. Now that you've given the mirror to the lady. You take the smooth stone. Okay. Maybe she can tell you something about it. This stone is most unique. Would you tell me something of it? It was my bane. I don't mm -hmm. understand. You're my bane! My pride and folly. I have suffered its power. The stone caused your transformation? Yes. I looked as I did because I desired to be more beautiful than any woman. Hmm. The stone was said to be the work of the ancients with the ability to grant one the gift of eternal beauty. However, my vanity tainted its power and I became hideous. Hmm. Save yourself. None could look upon me without being turned to stone. My solitude nearly destroyed me. That's sad. Any others you can tell me about it? I can tell you nothing more of the stone. You can't use that I I can tell you all right. Um, I take it then that you were of magical persuasion? Mm hmm. It is a gift passed down from generation to generation <clears throat> in my family. Hmm. We took pride that our line could be traced back to the first mages. I see. Is Manannan such a person? Does he share such a link to them? Manannan? Who is he? You do not know? How long have you been down here? I am not sure. I secluded myself in this cave around the time the Port Bruce dock was completed. I believe that was almost a century ago. Has it truly been that long? I shall find it strange, venturing again to the town. Perhaps not. Something tells me it hasn't changed all that much. I am most grateful to you. May the stone serve you better than it served me. I am most... Okay, so we have the stone. The stone is smooth, round, and an unusual color, somewhat like that of amber. While you suspect the stone to be magical in nature, it does not react to your touch in any way. All right, we'll be on our way now. So we've got the stone, we helped the lady without hurting her. Let's be on our way. It's gonna send me off now. But anything here? In the dark recess, the victims of their own shallowness stand in stony silence. Okay, move on. Farewell, my lady. Farewell, good sir. Yet before we part, hmm. I wish to make mention of something I have sensed in your aura. Oh, really? Whatever wretched life you have thus far lived, I feel a great change encroaching upon you soon. Hmm. For good or ill, I know not. Heed well my advice. Okay. Beware those who would offer help, particularly if such should bear a price. I thank you, my lady. That's good advice. I better take it to heart. And there we have it. Uh, let's save that progress as, um, let's save it as, um, we'll save that, make that, replace that, and we'll save it as Medusa saved. Instead of defeated, Medusa saved. We saved Medusa, folks. We didn't kill her, we saved her. So let's take a little break. Yes, I want to quit. Gamers, I'd like to thank you for watching me play a brief uh, retro um, st version of my King's Quest 3 to Eris Human. I back backtracked back to an earlier part in my game. I uh, kind of apologize about that. But at least I was able to show you how to defeat Medusa non-violently.